When Atlassian products are critical to your business, planning for current and future growth is essential. That's why so many organizations are turning to Atlassian's data center offerings to fulfill their availability, performance, and scalability needs. The architectural foundation that delivers this value is active-active clustering, the ability to run Atlassian products in a multi-node environment behind a load balancer where each node in a cluster can essentially operate as an active instance. This provides high availability because if a node fails, the load balancer will automatically fail over sessions and direct new requests to any remaining active nodes in the cluster, helping to minimize downtime or avoid it altogether. It offers improved performance by spreading the load of requests across multiple nodes or by allowing for tactics like traffic shaping to route common load-heavy requests through a single node in order to free up the remaining nodes to maintain other functions. And, since there's no limit to the nodes you can run in a cluster, your environment can scale as your business grows and the demands on your Atlassian applications increase. In this video, we'll highlight each of the architectural components of a data center environment and walk you through the installation steps involved in setting up a data center instance to power your Atlassian products. There are four main parts that make up a data center environment. Let's take a look at each. Application nodes are where the actual Atlassian application lives. Each node in your data center cluster must run the same version of the application and be located in the same physical location. These nodes will be configured in a cluster acting as one to serve the application to your users. Your data center license does not dictate how many nodes you can have in your cluster. The number of nodes in your cluster will depend on your needs and how you configure your application. Typically, we find that between two and four nodes is sufficient for most clusters. It's important to note that Confluence requires an additional application node specifically dedicated to Synchrony, the engine that powers collaborative editing in Confluence. And Bitbucket requires an additional application node specifically dedicated to Elasticsearch. Bitbucket also allows for the use of smart mirrors, which are geographically distributed read-only application nodes. In Data Center, the database must be installed on its own node, separate from the application. For the most part, the same databases can be used with Data Center as with a single server deployment. Odds are, you'd be able to use the same database configuration in Data Center that you're currently using as a server application user. Databases that Atlassian supports include Postgres, Oracle, MS SQL Server, and MySQL. However, MySQL is not supported for Bitbucket Data Center we suggest you check the supported platforms page for each of your data center products for an up-to-date list of supported databases. The load balancer is actually the first thing that your users' requests hit when they use your Atlassian data center application. All of the requests come into the load balancer and the load balancer then distributes the request to the application nodes. Both hardware and software-based load balancers are supported for use with Atlassian data center applications. Your shared file system is where all the underpinnings of the product are stored, as in where attachments, icons, user information, apps, and, in the case of Bitbucket, where your source code will live. The shared file system has to be set up as its own node to be used in a data center environment. You can use any NFS-based NAS or SAN program for your shared file system. Just be sure to stay away from distributed protocols like DFS, as these are not supported. Now that we've covered the key components of your data center architecture, let's walk through the general steps involved in actually deploying data center. In this scenario, we'll guide you through an in-place deployment, Atlassian's recommended approach based on ease of implementation. Let's assume that you want to upgrade your single server application to data center. If the database is located on the same server as the application, it will need to be separated. When your application and database are separate, you're ready to get started. From there, you'll add a load balancer, configure your ports, and connect your application node to the load balancer to ensure it knows where to send the traffic. Just a note, the load balancer needs to be configured for cookie-based session affinity, also known as sticky sessions. This means that when a user enters the application, they remain on a single node for the entirety of their session. Next, add your shared file system to its own node using your preferred protocol. This file system will need to be mounted to any existing and future application nodes. At this point, you've set up all of the elements of the data center architecture with a single application node. This is a great place to test that all of the different elements are working as expected before adding additional nodes. Once you're ready, 
Adding additional nodes to your cluster can be relatively simple. Start by provisioning a new machine with the application installed and add to it the cluster using the administrative controls. When a new node is added, indexes and apps will be shared with it to ensure that the new node performs just as the existing nodes do. To make this process even easier, take advantage of server images to provision a new node using an image of an existing node with the application already installed. This method lets you provision new nodes for your cluster almost instantaneously. Finally, configure DNS to allow users to easily access the application using a user-friendly URL. And that's it. You've now set up your data center instance and can begin capitalizing on the availability, performance, and scalability benefits of running Atlassian data center applications. Managing your move to data center takes careful planning. Here's a quick summary of the steps we reviewed in this video to use as a guide. Download a data center production or evaluation license of your choosing and apply it to the single server instance. Add a load balancer. Add a shared file system and mount it to the application node. Then test for functionality. And when ready, add additional nodes to ensure high availability. As you begin your journey, be sure to review these other helpful resources. If you need further help, you might want to partner with an Atlassian Technical Account Manager or our premier support team. We also have a global solution partner network if you'd like more hands-on help. Thanks for joining us. We hope that was helpful. For more information, visit Atlassian.com enterprise.